just gotta you just gotta put it out there. And if it sticks, it sticks. If it doesn't, you know, no harm done. So yeah, I just want to be known for being uh, being myself, not trying to be anything else. If you hold tight, shadows will be lost in the light. Oh, cause sometimes fate and your dreams will collide. So don't walk away from me. Oh, don't walk away from me. Oh, don't walk away. I think you just got to be honest. You got to be honest, and you got to speak with what you're thinking. You know, some it, there's definitely times where you can, you know, make it pretty and metaphorical and stuff. But you got to hit them with lines that are gonna, um, you know, really touch um, everybody's, you know, heart. Um, no matter what age you are, no matter who you are. Um, so I think there's definitely a skill in that, and it's just. A matter of taking time and, and finding exactly what the right word is. Um, actually, pretty early on, um, you know, uh, that was before anything, before singing, before um, playing the, the guitar, before I got good at any of those things. I, de I had a knack um, for writing, and, and I think that's what really um, spurred me on to keep going and improving with the singing and, and the guitar. Because I was terrible at guitar, and really my voice was, you know, very, when, when you start singing, your voice generally is quite distinctly average. So it was just putting those words together that inspired me to, to get better. It would include um, the beautiful girls, and it would include the heat um, sticking to your skin. I just want to see the world, you know? Don't you want to see the world? You know, we were staying at the Mandarin Oriental in... Um, Hong Kong. Um, I mean, this hotel is ridiculous. I mean, it's like a six-star hotel. Um, I have a seven-foot um, round bathtub in the middle of my room. A suite. It was like, I, it was just incredible. Um, and um, I have to pinch myself that not only am I here experiencing this, I'm actually getting paid. Um, and playing music, you know, my, my first love. I mean, honestly, I'm, I feel very blessed to, to do what I do. God, every place is so different. Um, you know, the weather, the people, the food, um, you know, the, the hotel we stay at or wherever we stay, um, um, the shopping, um, the, the fans, you know, the audience, the reaction, um, the music, um, everything about the place, different places, even as close as, um, you know, Singapore to Malaysia, there's big differences, you know. Um, so. I, I love that about traveling, and I love like taking snapshots of the different views that I get to see, um, and taking them home and showing people, posting them online. So. Asian fans in general um, are the most respectful. They bring so many gifts, and they they're they're still very loud. But English crowds are are breaching over the the line of insanity, um, and they they're really aggressive sometimes, <laughs> which is awesome. Yeah, yeah, which is awesome. I mean, I love the um, I love the craziness. We always have um, the the monitors on stage really loud. Um, I love it really loud. I love like sweating my ass off on stage. Um, if I don't, if I come off stage like not sweating and not kind of going, you know, like this with my ears, like I don't feel like the show's gone well. Um, I love feeling the emotion and the um, uh, yeah, the the connection with the fans. I'll do whatever I have to do. To carry on, do, to carry on going. I know, I know the fan base are out there, and I know there are more people that aren't fans yet um, that I have to reach. Um, so I'll do whatever it takes um, to carry on doing this as a career. Um, we've definitely had to get creative uh, about um, the way we fund things, the way we, you know, travel, the way we do things. Um, we've had to cut a lot of corners sometimes, um, but that's all, you know, in the changing music industry. You know, it's, I, I take my hat off to anybody who can um, earn a living in today's industry because it's really difficult. Cause sometimes fate and your dreams will collide.